Just a few days after being suspended for violent behavior, Cristiano Ronaldo was pictured unwinding on the beach. The 39-year-old superstar Ronaldo appeared to elbow and stamp on an opponent during Al Nasser's Saudi Super Cup semi-final loss to Al Hilal on Monday night. He then strangely raised his hand toward the referee. When Ronaldo was sent off in the 86th minute, Al Nasser was behind 2-0. The Real Madrid icon got into a brawl with Ali Al-Balehi. Sadio Mane provided a late rallying goal in the 99th minute, but Al Nasser collapsed after Ronaldo's antics on a tremendously disappointing evening. Three days after the incident, the Portuguese attacker was spotted lounging on the beach with his partner Georgina Rodriguez, despite receiving harsh criticism at the time. The model and influencer posted a number of pictures of herself with Ronaldo in what appeared to be Abu Dhabi, away from the spotlight. Two days for two was the description for her image. In one of the photos, Ronaldo was seen lounging on a sun lounger, enjoying some food and beverages, flaunting his toned body. The defender attempted to stop the Portuguese sensation from snatching the ball to take a quick throw-in during his previously mentioned confrontation with Albalehi of Al-Hilal, which resulted in the two squaring up. The Al-Hilal defender was then shown on camera being elbowed by Ronaldo, which caused him to fall to the ground and started a brawl between the players. Then, in another film, Ronaldo looked to be stamping on an Albalehi who had already fallen, but the vision was obscured by the advertising boards, so it was impossible to tell if Ronaldo had made contact with the player. The incident led to a brawl between the two Saudi rival sides, with Al Nasser and former Manchester City defender Americ Laporte attempting to mediate the situation in the dramatic closing moments. Former Chelsea defender Khalid Okulabali had rushed to his teammates' help before being shoved. Ronaldo was furious with the match official after witnessing the two groups of players jostle and push one another. Referee Mohamed al hoish quickly issued a straight red card. To the extent that Ronaldo waved his hand as if he wanted to punch the referee, or maybe punch the ball he was carrying, before changing his mind. After being shown the red card and getting into a lot of hot water, Ronaldo then mockingly clapped one match referee on the shoulder. Ronaldo seemed to address the fans as he was leaving the field, saying, you are all witnesses to this robbery. After a terrible night for both the team and the player, the Saudi pro league leaders ousted them from the competition, setting off a highly contentious conclusion. Ronaldo and the referee had already argued earlier in the game after Al Nasser's goal was disallowed and the score remained tied. Otavio believed he had given his team the lead, but it was disallowed because Otavio was judged to have been offside when he placed the ball in the net and Ronaldo had not made contact with the ball. The game's eventual eruption of tempers was precipitated by the Portuguese icon's protestation over the goal that was disallowed, which led to his being issued a yellow card. With two goals in the second half, Salem al Dosari and Malcolm gave Al Hilal the victory and advanced to the Saudi Super Cup's next round. Main added a late consolation goal for the 10 man Al Nasser team late in injury time. This season, Ronaldo has been in the news for all the wrong reasons more than once in Saudi football. After making an obscene gesture during Al Nasser's victory over Al Shabaab in February, the former Manchester United player received a one match suspension from Saudi football bosses. Now, they will miss him for at least one game.